Happy Friday. Woo! <laughs> Stephen's doing a dance, putting his trousers on. <coughs> yes. And I'm going home today. After the longest summer of my entire life. Four months long summer. I came back at the end of May. Like, I've been back to Sunderland occasionally since then, but, like, I've been here a billion years. Yes. My nana's going to come pick me up at 7 p.m. And... She's going to do the drive. She's going to do the drive to York. And then I'm going to get on a train from York to <coughs> Sunderland. And then I have to get a cab, because... Bag. That purple one is the suitcase I'm taking back with me. But my sewing machine needs to go back. Those clothes need to go back, that bag needs to go back, and that bag needs to go back. I'm not carrying all of that myself on a train. Absolutely not. <coughs> that was nice. you got a nice outfit on. Nice outfit. Ow. <laughs> Stephen's going now. Yes. Going to uni. Yes. But I'm going to see him in two weeks. Yes. So I'm coming back to do my driving test. Yes. Yes. Not very long. But I'm only coming back for three days. So <coughs> so then I'm coming up to you. Yeah, some point in October. Yes. Maybe November. Yeah, probably October. <coughs> probably. Yes. I'm too small. Mm. Be small. Short. Small. <laughs> Every weekend. <laughs> the last dab. <sighs> Looks like you're going into heaven, it's so bright outside. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely going down. Downwards. Downwards, dab. Mm -hmm. Love you. I'll see you very soon. Yeah. Have Travel a nice day. safe. Have a nice day packing in. Okay. Thank you. Have a nice day at uni. Uh, yeah. Let me know how it is. Be safe. Love you. Bye. At least I'll be seeing him in two weeks. It's not that long for us. But yeah, me and Stephen have been doing long distance since 2014, which is when we did first get together. Um, I'd already accepted my place at uni and stuff before I'd even like met him. We got together the day before I moved, and. It has worked for three years. It was our anniversary on the 13th of September. So like last week, which is nice. And then I've only got this year left of uni. Um, my final, final year, third year, finally. Did second year twice. But um, he's studying again. So even after I've graduated, he's got another two years of uni. So. Maybe by the time we're both about 30, we'll have normal jobs and grown up lives. This jumper's starting to stress me out with the shoulder perking. I've got one, two, three, four hours, just over four hours to shower, wash my hair, get everything sorted, to leave. Um, I spent last night in Darley's with Sammy and Ashley, which was really, really nice. Oh, I had a really horrendous phone call with Sam this morning. Like, he hasn't done anything wrong, and I've not done anything wrong, but I ended up having a bit of a cry afterwards because he was explaining, basically preparing me for the state of our flat for when I get back. So this bit of hair is having some kind of party. Um, basically, our I'll be able to show you when I get home at like 11 o'clock tonight but still our living room has no carpet anymore which I'm happy about because it was gross anyway um which means all the furniture from the living room which isn't a lot because it's only small is in my bedroom the kitchen countertop the new one is still in my bedroom and has been for three months um the kitchen basically we don't have one um I think our fridge and freezer are still plugged in but we don't have an oven I'm uh, not sure if the hobs are still working or not. And I think the washing machine's still plugged in. But we've got no units, no cupboards, no drawers, nothing to put anything in. And there's a big hole 
in the wall which was behind some of the cupboards and we're thinking that's how the mice have been getting from the flat below us into ours which has made me really really angry basically because it was promised to me by our landlord that everything would be finished by the time I came back and as far as they knew I was coming back at the end of August it is now mid-September it is the 22nd of September, it's not even mid-September anymore, it's coming to the end. And we start uni on Monday and I don't want to be dealing with a shitty flat when I'm trying to get sorted and do my work, it's just not fair. So I'm going to bring up that le legislation I spoke about before, the one where it's illegal if we basically don't have anywhere to prepare food, which we don't. So unless we get given a key to the flat below us, which is empty, or the one below that, to be honest, I don't want to be in the flat below ours, it was wrong. They were the reason we had mice. Um, so if we don't have access to a kitchen, then... I don't even know. Like the house that I lived in, in my first go of my second year, so my actual second year, we had mice, a dead pigeon fell down my chimney, our heating didn't work, one of our showers was broken, there was eight of us living there, and one of our showers was broken. Um, the garden was disgusting and was having loads of problems and our landlord was an arsehole but the landlords we have now they're so lovely, they're such nice people but they're just quite useless at getting stuff done when they say they will it always gets done but it's like weeks and months after they say so, like it took us ages to get the new hoover and I don't know I don't know Stephen's gone. I'm sad. Spending the rest of the day on my own. Or at least it'll give me space and time to be productive and I won't just be sat spooning him, wanting him to not go. <laughs> majority of the stuff I'm going to need is in there. Hopefully everything else is going to go in there and I need to bring my camera bag as well. I haven't managed to fit any of my coats, jackets or pairs of shoes in my suitcase. So for two weeks I will be wearing my Lazy Earth Doc Martens. I've got loads of other pairs of shoes um, in my flat but I've got my other Doc boots and both pairs of slip-on vans here and those are the ones that I wear all the time but I can go with that for two weeks. I'm going to take my big fluffy coat back with me because I've not worn it since I think the winter before last so I'm excited to wear it again this winter. Yay. Right, I am packed and ready to go. This is my camera bag, my coat, suitcase which has my tripod sticking out of the top because I needed to bring that back and I have nowhere else to put it. Bag full of food, mostly freezer bits which hopefully I'll be able to refreeze but you know it's corn so fine handbag, iPad with some stuff downloaded on it. I've got Lady Gaga's documentary downloaded, so that'll be good. A book, a uh, purse, empty-ish room. Already to get back to my bomb site. Oh, 
always here, dark now. Here we are at York Station. Um, I brought my beautiful granddaughter to take her back to Sunderland. Yeah, we're an uh, hour early. Yeah, I'm always early. But it's better to be early. Very than important late. to be early. Well, it's going to yes. take long enough to. Um, it's an Appleton trade. To carry the bag, Always isn't it? Be early. Yeah, it's 18 minutes past eight, and my train is at 19 minutes oh, past nine. But so we hour. may have a struggle to get the case out of the car and then up the stairs. Up the stairs, and we may have a drink. We may, and I definitely need a wee. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Jesus. I'm home. I have Sam, my angel, and basically <laughs> I'm gonna show them the um the um this. This was our living room and kitchen. This bit was the living room. And about that's where our oven was. Yeah, the oven was here. The oven was there. You can tell because there's a square. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's our new cabinet. Yeah, these are that is cabinets. nice. So we're gonna have like One's on the ground? Uh, you haven't seen the rest of it yet. What? We're going to have a breakfast bar with bar stools. With bar stools? With bar stools. That fucking clock You can see the rest of them. Uh, there's still some downstairs, actually. Oh, my God. So, yeah. Our washing machine was always in that corner. Uh, oh, the table um, was always there, but it didn't always have that shit on it. This bit here. Is that where the damp was? That's where the hole was. It was oh, yeah, right. We had a mouse problem. That's where our cabinets were. Yeah, like two of us only had cabinets that size for all our food. Um, yeah, and then the side came out to here. Did it? No, it was... The gap was here. Yeah, the gap was here because we had one on the other side as well. And that was where we kept, like, cereal and shit. There's the damp, by the way. How did we not notice that? Because it's only happened recently. Uh... Oh, uh, that's fucking great. Do you remember when it was like really torrential rain? Yeah. That's when it happened. This is our Halloween banner that we've had up since last Halloween. And you can make it say... All we. Oh. <laughs> I like that. Because it's outside the bathroom, it's fitting. Those, those ones have been here for ages as well, and so have those ones since last year. Um, they tried to throw my rug away, which I'm really mad about. And this is the state of my room. Oh, blue. Very blue. That couch isn't mine. The one behind it, that's mine. Can't reach my window. Can't open my wardrobe. Uh, that's the remnants of what was mine in the kitchen. And this half is still relatively the same as it was. Which is okay, because at least I can get to my bed, but there's gonna be so many fucking spiders in here. Oh, and the bathroom. Because uh, we don't have a kitchen sink. This is my life. Yay. Yay. Life. Fucking life. Oh. Happy Saturday. It's 5 to 12. I've just been on the phone to my landlord. Um, because I realised that I'd never said it was okay for them to put the couch in my room. And I can't open my wardrobe. And I can't really, like, I don't know how I'd get it out of my room on my own. So I rang her. And her and her husband, who are our landlords, are currently in London this weekend. Um, and the, like, handyman guy that they always have come around, he's really lovely, he's helped us with loads of stuff, is in Tenerife. So she's going to try and ring... The plumber, I think his name's Alan. Um, he helped us with our boiler when it was dodgy. Um, so hopefully he can come around and move it because we've got no one working on the kitchen this weekend, which means we're definitely not going to have a working kitchen when me and Sam are wanting to go back to uni on Monday morning. So that's fucking fantastic. Oh uh, yeah, and I had a bag of skips for my breakfast because I wasn't going to go downstairs and use their kitchen, it freaks me out. And we went and had a look at it last night and I didn't like it. It was all creepy. What? We have progress. 
a removal guy is coming to take away this couch which means I will be able to open my wardrobe here so I can actually like move. Um, I unpacked my suitcase but can't put anything away because I can't really open it. I can open one door but I did that so I could get this jumper out so I could actually wear some clothes that wasn't pajamas. Cat's on her way around and I feel guilty having her in here. But obviously I can't leave because the the removal man is on his way. But all our stuff, uh, kitchen stuff is in the flat downstairs now. There's a dinosaur clock. This is downstairs, it's kitchen. Bit of a dinosaur clock. Um, I've lost my frying pan. Well, I haven't lost it. Someone else has lost it. I've not been here to lose it. And this is all of our kitchen possessions Ooh. our um, downstairs neighbours whose flat we are in now were the reason there was the stuff in there there was a, but a golden rice fast food but. I'm concerned uh, they were the reason we ended up getting mice and being in their flat either oh no. what is gross touch it no it's sticky and even after they've moved on it's been cleaned it's still fucking disgusting yep we're all having a, well I had a mental breakdown and started crying because the removal, mil, removal men arrived and like couldn't take anything because sliding. my landlord hadn't it's paid them. Sliding. So, I'm at the bottom of it where it's gonna slide. But we're having a pivot situation trying to get... Pivot! 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 Trying to get a big ass couch down the stairs. Oh, four. Angel number one. Angel number two. Hello. The sofa is no longer in my bedroom. It's downstairs. We pivoted and sweated. But it's gone. All backs out. <laughs> yeah, Kat's not alright now. <laughs> me and Kat just went to the shop and she's bought me some provisions to survive on until my student loan comes in, slash, till our kitchen is fixed. So I have sweets and biscuits and I found some corn thins in my cupboard. So that is my diet. Thank you, Kat. It is okay. Also got them diet cock. The kind of came with me. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Ta da! You can do puppet shows. The curtain's coming back. I'm gonna do a puppet show. Good. I believe I'm gonna be doing a puppet show. It's 28. And I have made myself some tea. I have a microwave rice packet, a whole one, that's two servings because I'm starving. And I put some chip spice on it. But I'm, I'm done with today. I've had enough. Been a bit much, especially my first full day to be back in my own space. But tomorrow I'm gonna have a full on clean, dust, organised, purge, throw out all my old shit, and prepare myself for my first day at uni. So I need to read all my module guides and stuff. I've got some ideas. But yeah, that's it for tonight. That's it for today. I've just. This Saturday has been a bad Saturday, so. <laughs> Fingers crossed for a good Sunday. Happy Sunday morning. I think it's still morning. No, it's definitely the afternoon. I have missed my clothes so much and I'm so happy with my outfit. I've missed my clothes. Literally, I picked my outfit so quickly because I've not, obviously, I've not worn any of my clothes that I've left here in over three months and my jewellery. I've missed my big ass hoops. 
Um, so I dug out my Sabbath the End tour t-shirt, well one of, I have two. And my Topshop dog tooth skirt that I bought years and years and years ago. My mum was like, you can't have that, it's too short. But I'm short, so it's kind of fine. And ooh. My room feels really dark. But I think it's got something to do with the um, kitchen countertop being invasive. But I'm feeling a lot better today. I had a phone call with my mum this morning. Had a little cry, explained the kitchen situation to them because I didn't want to like worry them too much. They they knew it wasn't there. They knew I wasn't going to be able to like use anything really. Um, but they didn't realise how bad the kitchen downstairs is, and I'm like it's dirty, and I don't I don't want to use it. So my mum's like an angel because my student loan hasn't come in yet. Sent me some money so I can go buy some microwavable and toastable food. Or stuff that just doesn't need cooking. So I'm gonna go to Iceland and Tesco and see what I can find. Um gonna meet Kat in town. I'm just so happy to have my clothes back. I have no idea which jacket I'm gonna wear either, and I have loads of jackets. I don't think I'm gonna bother with any makeup today. Cause it's Sunday. It's a miracle I'm wearing a bra. I didn't even talk about the boots. In February of this year, I went to York with my friend Emma and New Look had a humongous sale and humongous sale on shoes. Um, and I bought these silver ankle boots. But the heel on them is quite high. I've not really worn them out anywhere yet. And I know it's Sunday and I'm only going to do food shopping and I'm probably going to end up with blisters or some crap. But, come back in. They are one of the key compartments of my David Bowie Halloween costume. So I need them to be comfy because they're pretty. I have just missed my clothes so much. I've got my mustard leather jacket back. Yeah, got some sunglasses on my head because it looks really, really warm outside. So the jacket is probably not the best idea. But I'm happy. Mm. I changed my boots because I don't want to have to take my shoes off halfway down the street. I am one of those people that would do that. If I just got my lazy earth boots back on. I like it. Oh, I've missed my clothes. I've missed them. Everybody! Have your hands like this! Show me, show me, baby! Me and Kat just got accosted by some chavs. <laughs> uh, literally on my street. A, well, I started chowing at them, to be fair. Um, we were walking past them. Like, there was like five of them, I think. Yeah. They moved out of the way of the path a little bit so we could walk past. But then one of them, like, like, led, led like, what's the word? Like, launched himself, yeah. like, towards us and went, Ugh! So I turned around to them to fuck off or something like that. And then they just started shouting shit and I think they called me Ginger and they said something about my, no, they didn't even say anything about my jacket, they just went, yellow jacket! And I was like, yeah? <laughs> Tells me it looked like the Pillsbury Doughboy because he had one of those jackets on, you know, that like puff out, like a puffer jacket. And as soon as we sat down, because we were outside my house now, we sat down and I was like, I should have said something about a sports day because they all looked like they were going to a sports day and I'm really annoyed I didn't say it. It was a good one. It, it was a good one, but never mind. It's 27. Sunday and we're in the best jumper in the world. It is so soft and snuggly. We had a revelation. Went food shopping, spent like 20 quid, managed to get stuff that does not need an oven to be cooked. Which may not sound that difficult, but for some reason it was. So what I got is this and some more things are in my fridge. So 
Pringles were on at two for three pounds. Has there ever been an offer that good? I've uh, got a little Warburton's Toasty for toast. Some apples, and I've already eaten one. This big ass family pack of Crunchy Nut because it was only two pounds, and that is going to last me a very long time. Some some vanilla snacker jacks, some granola bars, which are maple syrup oaty ones. Squares bars, there was four, I ate one. Um, some more microwave rice and some crackers, but I do actually have some more stuff in the fridge in the freezer. Um, I bought some waffles, some frozen waffles. Now, I know I said stuff that doesn't need to be oven cooked. However, you can cook frozen waffles in the toaster. Oh, this is horrid. Oh, I bought croissants as well. The fancy ones. The ones in the nice packaging. Ooh. But I had one as soon as we got in because I really wanted it and I just needed warming up in the microwave, so that was good. In the fridge. I'm scared because it falls down. I have... Oh, I got some noodles. The door's gonna fall. I bought some of these. Tesco's like ready cooked free range egg noodles because it says add stir fry or microwave in pack. It was very expensive, it was like over a quid, but I can't live on rice and toast for like I know this is carb central, but this is my shelf. So I have my milk for my cereal, my Philadelphia cheese for my crackers, some celery, so I have some kind of nutrients in my life. Noodles and some utterly butterly for toast. It's dark. Why is everything blue? This is the Blair Witch Project. But yeah, since we're starting uni on a Monday morning, tomorrow morning, I have picked my outfit out already. Gone for this paper bag waist style, I think that's what it's called, a skirt from Zara in a lovely mustard colour, because apparently now I will always be wearing yellow. And my sleeves merch t-shirt. I love long sleeves when they have writing on it and stuff so I bought that t-shirt when slaves played like a two quid gig in fruit in Hull and Life who are my favourite local band ever supported them and I went with my dad I took my dad and it was amazing I think it was literally either yesterday or today a year ago because it came, it came up on my little Facebook memories thing and I was like it feels like it was a million years ago This morning I got about half eight to get ready. I had set an alarm for half seven, but nope. Then we're in uni ten till twelve, then we had an hour break, which I hate because it's not long enough to come back home, but it's too long to just do whatever. And then we had one till three of a different module and I haven't processed any of it yet. Basically I need an idea for everything. I went to and I already have like general what's the word general concepts for 
my projects but they need to be like narrowed down and we need to have like bits of research and that kind of stuff <sighs> but our dissertation is an essay module 4,000 words praise the lord but I have come up with some ideas but whatever happened between 10 and 12 this morning I have absolutely no recollection of so thank goodness I took notes so yeah the rest of this week is going to be adjusting to uni life hopefully more progress on the kitchen but I will be doing a little progress catch up clips of how the kitchen gets on this week and um, which I'll probably add into next weekend's vlog so yeah I'm probably just gonna make like 10 bags of crisps and have a nap now and then full-on get into research mode grim 